Okay, so what's the name of this ship then, guys? Um, I pronounce it Orias. Couldn't really figure out how to spell that, but yeah, that's what's. And and you're riding uh, the builder's chariot flown by Asmos. Asmos. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's quite an interesting new feature. So I'm going to try and keep them both in the shot if I can. <laughs> uh, and so, how do you say the name of this ship again? Orias. The Orias. Okay. So Orias it's a, one. It's a beautiful ship. I'm loving the purple colouring. That's great. And you've got some really impressive hull detailing. The engine style is pretty unique as well. I love it when people put beacons in their engines. That's a nice touch. Um, hey, Asmos, do you want to fly a bit tighter into the ship? Okay. Cheers. Thanks very much. So I can see a lot of missiles back here. Do they run the entire length of the ship? Um, no, they just uh, they fill up the entire front of the ship. Right. Okay, cool. So that's the front then. <laughs> Excellent. Right. So... Um, Moving up to the top sort of area, these turrets here look quite familiar. Did you build them yourself? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, I noticed that not, not that many people um, use green for their turrets, so I decided to do that. Uh, they're my first attempt at building a big turret. Bit of a lag spike there. Did you, did you get that? Whoa! Yeah, I got that. One, yeah, we're two, getting three. mad lag spikes. Okay, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. I'm just going to pull back and find out what is going on and why? So my hey, Eth, uh, any idea what's uh, going on? Uh, not really, no. Okay, hang on. It's fast. Okay, so any idea why the frame rate suddenly dropped, guys? Uh, that would be me. That would be who? be me, Phalanx. You know, see, one of my giant turret on my ship moved to ship a pirate and killed it, but in the meantime, it squished up against my other ship, and now they're two locked together, okay. and that's an issue. Can you move it's one of, right in front of me. Can you move one of them away from your other ship? I'm gonna try. Two FPS and a break and keyboard. I will try. Okay. Right then. So back to where we were. Uh, we were just finishing up Looking at the turrets. So tell me about these turrets, mate. Well, they, uh, I haven't figured out how to get them to actually work properly. I mean, they would fire on one enemy, then it would stop. They wouldn't switch to another. Right. But, but they're, they're, they're pretty good when they do actually work. <laughs> nice. So what gave you the idea for this ship design? I mean, obviously it looks a bit like a TIE fighter, but uh, it could have been something else. Yeah, actually the two um, wings, pylons, uh, hangar bays, Yep. they were supposed to be a lot smaller, but I just kind of went a little crazy with it and it turned out that big. They were only supposed to be a slightly um, larger than the uh, middle section. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, I'm planning on actually uh, making this middle section its own separate ship. I'm gonna call it the Armadillo, but uh, yeah, uh, it didn't exactly. Um, I didn't mean for it to look like a tie fire. Just kind of did that by itself when I built it. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the inside real quick. So where's the door? I think I just crashed or something. I'm frozen. Oh really? Did you crash? <laughs> it's okay. I can do I it. Frame rate. So in here, so you did a very nice job. Looks like you've got visible missiles. You've got a little platform here coming down, which is quite cool. Don't know what that's about. Uh, oh yeah, there's a um, mm, the, the glass one. No, it's a, a load of wedges coming down with a singular yeah, missile it, block. Yeah, it's an arm. It, oh. It's a oh, yeah, loading that's arm. A, that's a missile loading. It's a loading it's arm. A missile inspection. <laughs> uh, yeah, excellent. Yes. That is really cool. I like that a lot. I'm gonna go down to the bottom and have a look down here. Got a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of crystal. And right, you're back, are you? Yeah, I'm back. Okay, well, that being said, let's go back and get out of the core. Oh no, wait, where's the door? Uh, where is it? What? Right here. Is that open? Yes, yeah, open. Oh, okay. It, it wasn't for me. It's all right. I'm in. Right then. Yeah, this is this um, <coughs> captain's quarters. We've got a bed and shower. Nice. Let's have a look. Excellent. Right, moving on. 
Next Just room. Be careful, I don't get much, uh, very good connection on this chopper here. The bridge, like I <laughs> Yep. Nice, nice. And, uh, the core room. Yep. I built this side first, so, um, I actually get lost on the other side, even though it's mirrored, you know. <laughs> yeah, sure. So yeah, um, we had a quick you know, zip through. Observation deck. Yeah, we had a quick zip through here. Oh, I didn't actually see the hangars. I didn't notice that they were full of fighters. Yeah, the, the bigger one on the bottom is supposed to be a mech, but the <coughs> legs were too big, so I had to cut them off. Right. At the top, that ceiling, you know, that's actually a big fighter right there. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. That's cool. So as you go up, can we see it again, or? Oh yeah, we got, well, kind of, uh, I actually built a room called the Gravity Room where you actually fall into it and then you fall out of it by messing with the gravity blocks. Wow, what's and this? You already saw this already. What's yeah. that? This is the missiles. Yeah, I saw the missiles, Missile yeah. <coughs> so what is this? This is a weapon oh, room. Missile control. Weapon yeah. control. Very nice. It's actual, that's the, you know, missile oh, the computer right there for it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's brilliant. What's through here? That is the gravity room. Gravity room. Actually, get inside the big uh, fighter right there. We'll do that in a sec. So, what's further down? Just more staircases. Oh or... uh, yes, this goes down to the other side of the ship. You don't want, really want to go in here, but this is a secret um, maintenance hatch that takes you to the turrets. Where's that? Top one, right here. Oh. Take it to another door, take it to another door, and, you know. Is it Jeffrey's too? Huh. Ha! Huh. Awesome! Oh, wow! Where am I? Oh! Where am I now? Oh, uh, this is a, um, there's one on the top and bottom. Of oh, and there's the turret. Power co uh, coil. Very clever and stuff. Very good. That's excellent. How do we get back? The way we came. Yep. That's kind of cool. There is one other maintenance hatch on the bottom in the engine room. Oh no! <laughs> I got stuck in it. Sorry. <laughs> right, I'm out. I do have to say, not many people actually pay attention to detail, like actually putting in Jeffrey's. Oh, I love it though, that's great. Little secret passageways. Okay, I'm getting in this gravity and I'm going to drop into this bay. Let's do it. Oh, drops down onto the, into, straight into the pilot seat. That's really oh, cool. Yeah, you would just, um, and then you just uh, hit gravity here gravity, and, you fall back into the... and you fall back. Ha! Huh? That's outstanding. Now I'm walking around your station on the ceiling. Check it out. Yep. Hang on a sec. That was the idea. Hey! <laughs> Screenshot time. That is really, really neat. I... I applaud you. So now we're all on the ceiling. Hang on a sec. Let me just uh, go back into the normal gravity real quick. Oh no! <laughs> I fell in the, I fell in yeah, the shit. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. <laughs> That's epic. That should be the way all lifts work. That's really clever. Yes. That that should be the but way the all lifts work, man. Ready? It needs to be a different, ready? To be a different for it to work. Hang on a sec. Look at the wait, don't don't go back yet. Let me just get this. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Right, I love that. Okay. What's next? Oh, um, yeah. This way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought you would like the gravity room. Yeah, that's excellent, that is. I want one now. Yeah, we could have a lot of fun with that. Yep. Pass back to the uh, observation. Imagine deck. it for a laser tag room where you had, like, the roof was actually a docked ship and you put the gravity on. Uh, and you could have cool. each team on a different, or have blocks everywhere, you just hit it and you'd fall to the ceiling. It'd be like that game where, what was it called? Where you could flip the gravity upside down. It was, I know the one you're talking it was a about, shooter. I yeah, I don't think it really 
was that amazing. You know I mean, I think everyone was like, yeah, it's going to be great. And then it was like, oh, it wasn't that great. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of other games have like, a lot of other games have nice. uh, uh, some uh, double decker uh, crew quarters. Yep. Ooh. And the oh, I like the way you've done this. It is a bit like a prison, but it looks oh, really good. I like the way you've... So yeah, but look at... Yeah but, yeah, but yeah, look at that for a space-saving staircase, you know, because it's just one block out and it just runs along the wall and then you can have the rooms above each other like that. I love it. Mm -hmm. That's really clever, mate. Well done. Seems so simple. This is a uh, medical bay, of course. No, oh, healing chamber. Yeah. Ah. Excellent. Outstanding. Well done. This is per this is brilliant. I never thought of that. That's good. That's good. That is right. Okay. Oh, and we actually uh, passed the engine room. It was uh, back this way. Oh, okay. And if you can see on the other side, there isn't the um, air pipes bay over there. That's actually a um, meeting area. That's oh. pretty much the only difference between the two sides. Okay. Where's the engine room? Back here. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Yep. That's a thing of beauty. Whoa! And, uh, I fell in the... Oh no, I fell in the cooling rods. Ah! Oh yeah, I'm... Mm. <laughs> I was like, oh no! <laughs> Excellent. And now uh, this is the secret hatch to the, um... Uh, maintenance area. What? Where? Huh? Where did you go? Oh. Ah. Green light, right here. Huh? That's where I came in. What? Oh, right. Oh, and, uh, engine coil. Wow. Just like and in that. There's actually a secret, um, secret hatch to get to the outside of the ship. Oh, sweet. You just act deactivate gravity. Open this up. Why uh, why deactivate gravity? Uh, so oh no! Straight, straight down into the, there it is. Yeah, I I'm I'm here, I'm in a core. <laughs> Alright, so what was the ship called again? Uh Orias One. And your name? Carnatine. Sweet. I'm going to take a quick look inside your hangar bay, because we didn't really get a good look in here. So we've got some mechs with no, without legs. And a cool fighter in the roof. It's actually a salvage ship. It doesn't have uh, weapons in it, but I can place the salvage computers with, you know... Oh, weapons. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still. The two, two small ones are supposed to be shuttles. The two bigger ones are the fighters, and the uh, big one at the top is... Like I said, a salvage ship or a large fighter. And it was not easy to get in there. <laughs> I can look in the meeting room. It's pretty sweet. Room for five or six people. Nice. Right then. I'm probably going to make an Orias 2 with the, uh, the middle section with the core is being the same and everything else being different. Yep, yep. I love the detailing on the outer hull as well. I've really done, really do, done a good job on all that. Took me two weeks to build this ship. <laughs> Time well spent, dude. It's really nice. And I bet you'll actually be able to undock most of those without the match modification with the new undock all command. But yeah. Right then, so thanks for bringing it along and uh, for everyone watching, I'm moving on to the next uh, ship in the lineup. So thanks again and I'll see you in the next one.